Welcome back to Knowledge is Kings, guys. I am Kings, and I know I haven't posted a video in a while. I do have some really great projects coming up. A lectern, a bookcase, a king-size bed. I have recorded them already, but I'm in the middle of editing. It does take some time. I don't have a whole lot of free time. So I thought I'd do this little quick video of a subscription box that I got um, with Barrel and Blade. Now, this is the first subscription box that I have ever done or gotten from anybody, and... Right off the bat, my experience has been terrible. I'm supposed to get the subscription box first week of the month. It didn't come. Second week, I contact them. Hey, where's my box? They said, oh, it looks like USPS lost it. We're really sorry. How about we give you a free t-shirt? And to me, that sounds like, oh, okay, so you want me to advertise for your company after you just louse this up? Well, I called USPS and they said, no, we never got the box. They created a tracking number, but they never actually gave us any merchandise. So right off the bat, I knew they were lying to me, saying, well, they didn't even send out the box. Well, I just got this box. It's been way longer than the first week of the month. And it came with the exact tracking number that it had originally started with. So I found that pretty interesting. I, they said they packaged a whole new box after the other one was lost. Um, and this was supposedly it. Yeah, it had the same tracking number, and all of a sudden it was recovered. Um, but... Uh, so despite all that, uh, I did get the box. I don't know if I'll be continuing with this company. We'll see how uh, the next month goes. But I thought I'd just uh, open this up for you guys and let you kind of see what's inside. This is my first subscription of any, any type. I've seen a bunch of them online, people opening them, and I thought BattleBox kind of looked the coolest. Um, so let's uh, dive right in and see what we got. They do send this little uh, note here. So this note says what's in the box, and they have either a level one or a level two, and I have the level two. Level one, I believe, is 50 bucks a month to pay, and then you get this monthly box sent, and level two is 100 bucks. That's the one I got. And you're supposed to get items in the box that are valued at more than what you pay. Um, so... I'll go through, I'll go through uh, how much each item costs as I take it out. All right, so the first thing we got in here is uh, it's called Right in the Rain 3x5 Notebook. So you're supposed to be able to write in the rain. It says, the standard for weatherproof notes of law enforcement, military, and outdoor enthusiasts alike. It's rain, sweat, and even greaseproof. Whether you use this notebook to leave a note, burn in an emergency, or to make windage calculations, it's a handy item in your kit. So I guess uh, this paper is supposed to write in the rain. It doesn't feel or tear any different than a paper, other than it feels like it's kind of thick. Uh, but maybe it's impregnated with something. So we'll, we'll, have, we'll have to try that out. Yeah, it doesn't... doesn't other than its thickness, it really doesn't seem like anything special. But we'll we'll try that out, see how uh, weatherproof it is. It kind of looks like it has lines in there, suited for like a a dope book, uh, data on personal equipment if you're shooting guns. But we'll we'll try that out. Uh, the next thing we got here, cell vault. It says uh, that first one there. I forgot to mention it was four dollars. It said. Uh, this one is valued at twenty dollars. It says waterproof, attachable gear storage. So it looks like it's got a belt loop here, a uh, loop for your belt, I should say, and then a loop here if you want to put a carabiner on there. Uh, it says this is an awesome little American-made waterproof storage device that attaches to pretty much anything. It's got lanyard holes on the top and bottom. This little vault is perfect for housing batteries, but it's also great for matches, a mini survival kit, or even medicine. So let's just pop that out of there and. See see what that looks like okay so if this were on your belt it would pop open like this and you kind of have to kind of spill stuff out I don't know how I like that it doesn't uh, doesn't feel real thick or heavy duty I don't know that I would pay $20 for this it does have a rubber gasket there so when it's closed it might seal. I don't know. It doesn't it doesn't seem like it's real tight, but it might not need to be just to get that water seal. 
All right, so not super impressed with this. Seems kind of cheap. But we'll throw it in water and test to see how waterproof it is. All right, the next thing we got here is a spool tool. Uh, this one says tricorn spool tool, 20 bucks it is for this. This is a must-have American-made paracord tool. It's a spool for your paracord. It has a clip that fits a mini Bic lighter to fuse ends, multiple size burn slots, a replaceable razor cutting tool, a hole for a carabiner attachment, and starter holes for attaching your cord prior to spooling. And it shows on the back. Cut, position, fuse, done. So basically everything you would need for storing, using paracord. So that's where the little Bic lighter goes there on that. All right, so that's where the, it would have been nice if they sent a Bic lighter. I don't have, I don't have any, but uh, I can see it sits right in there. This is where, this is where you would cut it. This must be the starter hole for wrapping it. This, this actually does feel really thick, really heavy duty kind of deal. I kind of like this. Although, I, I don't know, I have a paracord, you know, normally you have it in a bracelet or something for emergencies. This does seem kind of big, especially once you get cord wrapped around it. But I think that might be something, uh, I think that might be something useful here. All right, the next thing we got, electronic earmuffs. All right, so this thing says 70 bucks, Walker Razor electronic earmuffs. Walker Razor electronic earmuffs are thin, look great, and do an amazing job dampening loud noises. These electronic muffs dampen loud bangs but allow you to hear lighter noises such as your shooting partner's voice. Walker razors are super comfortable, have an independent volume control, and even have an audio input jack. So, uh, they, these, I do have a pair of electronic earmuffs. Uh, they were inexpensive ones I bought at Menards for like 30 bucks. Um, these feel a lot heavier. A lot more heavy duty, I'm hoping. Um, so let's open these. Boy, I, I do like the feel of these. Just, uh, just first impression there. Oh, it even comes with a couple AAA batteries, and they are Duracell. I don't think I've ever seen an item come with brand name batteries before. All right, so we can look here. Here's the on-off and volume. Just clips on and off. And I kind of like that. It's you can, if you had it on, you don't have to find this. You can just roll your finger up and down. I really like that a lot. Now this is supposed to be the microphones here that allow you to pick up the sound. And it says there's an audio input jack. But I am not seeing that. Oh, maybe it's under this. Oh, right, right there. So that's nice. So it's got kind of a weather resistant cap on the audio input jack. Boy, I do like that. These are, let's see how they feel. So microphones towards the front. So these are uh, these are definitely more comfortable than the current ones that I have. I do like the rubbery feel to it too. Let's put the batteries in here and see how they sound. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh. These sound uh, ten times better than the my current ones. My other ones would would uh, clip off at a loud clap. These don't seem to uh, drop the sound. Uh, it's, it's still loud. I'd have to test this with the gun, see what the cutoff level is. But yeah, so far I actually I actually really like these. These, I don't know um, if these are really 70 bucks. I'm not sure how accurate these prices are if they really just try to make it seem like you're getting a good deal. But uh, 70 bucks might be what I'd pay for something like this at um, really good quality. All right, the last thing here in the box is a knife. And this says Cold Steel Voyager, Voyager Tanto. And it says 119 bucks for this knife. Voyager series is designed to be the true everyman knife. Lightweight, comfortable, and super sharp. They are rugged, dependable, and perfect for hunting and camping, as well as general utility and daily cutting chores. The Voyager series features Japanese alloy blades and our triad locking mechanism all right so I've never heard of Voyager I'm not huge into knives but we'll see what this is 
So it looks like we got a little belt clip here that you gotta put on, and then the knife itself. Oh, that's actually it's actually kind of a lot bigger than I was thinking. The outside is like a really hard, hard plastic with some some kind of a machine stippling there. Feels pretty sharp. It is definitely really thick, and then tapers down. Doesn't feel too bad in the hand. Let's see if it flips out all right. I, this is this is a really hard pull here. I've never had one so tough. Um, it makes it a little harder to flick out. But it's smooth. I think once I get the hang of this particular knife. So this is nice. Let's get a piece of paper here and see how well it cuts it. Alright, so we'll give it the paper cut challenge that you always see everyone doing. Oh yeah. Definitely no problem doing that. Nevertheless, it seems sharp. Uh, I don't know that I would pay $120 for this. Oh, okay. So this, this belt clip, there's one on there already. I just noticed that this is if you want to put it on the other side, so that's nice. You can decide what side of your pants you want to put it on. I kind of like that. But yeah, that's it for uh, everything that's in this box. So I'll just lay it out here. So we have the knife. That was 119 bucks. We had the uh, waterproof storage case. That's a 20 bucks. We had the paracord storage piece i guess i and then we had the water rainproof sweatproof and greaseproof notepad that you can write in in the rain and then some electronic earmuffs so so this is everything that came in there uh whether this is worth a hundred dollars i i don't know i mean i guess if this is really 70 dollars this is definitely more than 30 dollars worth of knife so that's that's a hundred bucks right there uh so i guess that's a good deal uh, the only thing is now with, you know, right, very first time I've ever done a subscription box and the first company I tried that I, I've seen millions of people review said they were really good and when something goes wrong, they, they blatantly lie to me. They, they can't even tell me the truth. Oh, hey, we didn't have enough. We didn't get it out. We just, no, the other company's fault, you know. I understand things going wrong. Uh, things go wrong in my business all the time, but I don't like being lied about. Just tell me what's going on. I'll be like, okay, yeah, that's fine. Um... So that, that's kind of a big put off for me. I'm uh, definitely getting one more box um, because it auto renews and once it renews you can't, uh, you can cancel but you, you still get the next box. So so we'll see what's in the next box. See if it's worth continuing on or just giving it up altogether. Either way, I thought I'd just get out this little video because I haven't put out a video in a while. Um, the woodworking videos, are they take a long time to edit through, scrub through and then voice over and everything. Uh, but I'm going to get one of those shortly. Uh, that's it for this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Oh, I like that.